Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54 Round 1 match between Augmented Beard and his High Elves and Solmir and his Undead. Uh, big TV advantage for Augmented Beard here. Solmir has got himself a Wizard, a Bribe, a Babe, a Setek and Hack and Slash. Oh, he's just called Hack here and he's a Goblin, he is actually a Skellington. And <laughs> he's got himself a mercenary mummy. So yeah, millions and millions and millions of TV down. It looks like we're not going to see a Daka. I think we should have seen a Daka. I'm, I'm a great proponent, proponent of the Daka. But um, there are, what, three guards here in a strength four blitzer. So I guess that's why we're not seeing a Daka. But still... You know, there's Augmented Beard here. He's got so much guard. Look at this. Three on the line. He's got two more. He's got 15 players total. 15 players total. Five guards. Strength four. Tackle mighty blow. Blodger. He's got a pretty flippin' amazing team. So, based on that... I would just knack her and try and not get it killed. <laughs> but, um, you know, like, obviously the team is more than cap capable of, like, doing a normal offensive drive. I'm going to carry on this fella in the backfield. And I guess powering mummies is good, but I just feel like Undead really struggle against the Dacker because the mummies are so immobile. Glorious. No, I won't Glorious. give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Thanks for the cast, Jim. Wow, thank you very much, a large thud. Uh, thank you for both the sub and being nice. Cheers. <laughs> and uh, could have taken Luther and Wizard. Yeah, I mean, he's down low. I would have, I would have definitely rather had Luther. You know, as much as he's a bit rubbish, right? Without, he's not, he's not, he's not really that rubbish. But the problem is, like, if you if you've played Blood Bowl since 1994, you remember when the count was amazing, and uh, you had Blodge, and Sidestep just does not dodge it at the end of the day. Like a Strength Five Blodger is unbelievable. Yeah. I guess he thinks Hack and Slash. You know, he can he can power the Blodgers with the uh, with the saw, which you know he can. But just ha uh, having having the count because you're just so much more power on the field and like I mean you're screwed though. Like how, how do you win this as the as the undead, right? Maybe you don't take Setek and you just take two more bribes, you know, and like just try to foul him to absolute death. Like get a dirty player zombie. Like it's it's so hard to even figure out. How on earth you win this game as the undead? And if you remember, maybe last season or the season before, there was a, there was like an undead team that had loads of skeletons, and they just like did a million fouls, and you know all they tried to do was bang, and maybe that's all you can do here as uh, as the undead. It seems really super tough. I guess at least there's no edge on the on the elves, but if you remove loads of them, then um, and things start to have more of a chance to see. So, yeah, I've probably just got to really go, really go as bangy as possible. That's probably the play. Extreme banging. Instantly caught, but still the right, still the right play. I think, even though it's just like it's just a block guarder, which is pretty rubbish. One of the worst players on the field. <laughs> but I still think I think he's right. Like it's still guard, and you can still remove it. Ha. 
a hot minute. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I think this is too too long to stream. <laughs> too long to stream replays. But you know I had to catch up, so I'm glad I have caught up and don't need to keep doing them to this extreme level. I'm gonna have to do like all of the uh, all of the Blood Bowl three ones in like a day as well. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. I just I've been putting off the Blood Bowl three ones because I've just never been in a good mood. Like at least these, they don't offend me, you know. <laughs> at least these don't offend me. But Blood Bowl three replays are just horrible to look at, even. It's like in, you've got to endure Blood Bowl 3, not enjoy. Yes, keep following. I would have still liked to have seen a Daka from the, uh, from the elves. Like, they haven't really had any problems doing this, but... I don't think they would have really had any problems Dakaring either. But I guess the Daka does hold a, a tiny bit, a small bit of additional risk of the... Uh, Against the wizard. It's a brave wrestle, that isn't it? That is a brave wrestle. Because I think really oh, that this was not the play. I think that was so not the play. I think the play was literally just to ignore this defensive drive, gang foul this guy, right? And just keep blitzing and fouling and and trying to fight because this had to do too much like this this fireball has worked about as well as it could <laughs> and it's still not enough it's still done basically nothing Assist foul. This guy? I'll just pick up my three plus. Three plus does it? Un unbelievable. And yeah, now I've got the ball and a strength hall carrier, and it's pretty nice. But uh, this isn't great, is it? Three plus for an uphill, that's pretty good odds. Probably the best uh, Solmi is going to get here. Dodge for the uphill with Rackle is pretty good. One in four with a reroll. I wouldn't have even moved. I wouldn't have moved anybody. Well, maybe the mummies, right? Maybe move the mummies in. And then uh, and just go for this hit and see if you get it. No, oh, no. Cheeky baby. 
Oh, I kind of hate all these blocks here. Just do do the big move and see if it works, basically. I think. Oh, nice. Okay, so what actually could have been maybe even better, right? That I didn't see until now. Uh, hello? Okay. I didn't see until now, but maybe what he could have done was... Uh, he could have chained... Oh, this is sidestep. Um... Maybe he could have, like, try to chain off Setek, right? So he could have had a 4 plus dodge into strip. But... I don't know, probably best just to go for the uphill rack on. Should have done it sooner, though. Should have done it sooner. Oh, he's not even doing it. Would have got it as well, by the way. Just quietly. Would have got it. Or you can argue to fail the dodge. Is probably that. Whoa. Glorious animation. Glorious cars for the hells. Another pow. No regen for the uh, ghoul there. Dice. Again, and it's, uh, it's not GG, but it's uh, it's it's pretty close too. Finding the rookie uh, zombie would probably be better here, right? Because uh, you want to foul something good with your DP, <laughs> basically. Whole frowning clown. Well, yeah, it's just, it's almost GG, really. It's sad. <laughs> sad, uh, fact. Nothing against Augmented Beard, of course, but it's just, uh, hasn't been much of a match, has it? I think the High Elves was just such a better team. And then they've had the dice as well, so now the Wizard was somewhat wasted, honestly, on it. Like, it's it's even hard to see how they win, right? Like, I mean, I guess the way is to just go all in on violence. But even that is easy. I will tip has us two of these it's not going to matter at all because there's, oh, there's one gone Oh, 
that's a good idea too. Does make a cast. All right. SPPs for Setek. Yeah, I'd have definitely fielded one of these rookies, right? Just so that you get a shot, and then you still got your dirty player for the, for the second hand. So maybe five good players. I think a bit of a mistake there. But then, I think a mistake, but then the dirty player made it into between a stun and a KO, and he didn't get sent off, so it works out fine. But then he might still be an 11, or might it be if two of these come back. None come back! Very exciting. Well, I say very. <laughs> Ten, 10 high elves, 11 under. No, Tim. <laughs> um, Moradam's the best. But. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean it's a cool idea the gob the gob or triple threat to see who's going to be the goblin king yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good I'd have just got somebody in scoring range first. This is a cheeky, like this Garda, right? Just get him in as a cheeky scoring threat. Oh my god, the blitz leads to a cast for white. No range. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so greedy making the extra one. He should have just caught it on the strength four, right? He should have definitely just caught it on the strength four. I guess, oh yeah, so caging instead. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's brutal. Maybe he should have blitzed, right? To blitz this catcher and scatter it. Yeah, it's sad when, like, one team... I mean, you know, all teams when one team is kind of overmatched it. Usually bad, right? They're usually bad. Obviously, Rix was was the exception, but uh, a lot of them are like bad. And then you really need the team, the worst team, to get the good luck. And obviously, Rick got the luck as well, right? With that initial uh, Hancock uh, miscalculation into double ones instantly. Like the the bad team does need some of the luck. And, uh, yep, there's been there's been no luck for Solmi. Oh, 
Oh my god. 1D pow. Full pow. Man. Been pretty greedy as well with the three plus dodges as augmented beard. Quite greedy on the three plus dodges. I do everything I can to avoid the two plus dodges helps. And he's being pretty uh pretty unconcerned about the three plus dodges. Yeah, I'm getting his players killed, but then there you go, here's a cast. Only a badly hurt. I understand like wanting to go after it, right? Getting the blitz and then you know if you get two you know, you've killed the game, right? And then you get to fully protect after that. Side steps onto the ball. Strength four catches. Nope. Oh, it goes out though, it goes out. Pretty exciting. Me and Dead can't really make a break for it though, can they? They just. You can maybe kind of. Kind of somewhat cage, I guess, if, if this tool can get there. He's gonna leap, isn't he? He's just gonna go all the way. He doesn't, doesn't even need to leap. He can just fall plus him. If he hasn't used dodge. If he hasn't used dodge on the three two, he can just fall plus him. Ah! The powder man wouldn't that fall plus him. It's gotta be. It's gotta be this way. Just because it's fun. I think Augmented Beard is having fun, so he'll go for the fun play of the leap in. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh man. High elves are great. I really wish I'd gone high elves instead of dark elves in Era BB, honestly. Like, I went Dark Hells because Dark Hells are just better. And the better the team, the less likely I am of getting frustrated and wanting to quit. But, uh... But, like, High Hells are so good. The sound effects. The catch, right? The catch is actually great, isn't it? The catch is actually great for vanity passing. But it's mainly the sound effects. And, like... Move 8, right? Move 8 is really good. Move 8 is actually really good for the catch. But I haven't really ha encountered any uh, any adversity yet in our ability. And when I do encounter adversity, I'd rather have delves than hells. So. So I probably have made the right decision, but also high elves just sound so good, don't they? All I have. Amazing. <laughs> this has been pretty pretty rough though for the high elves, they're only taking a bunch of cars. I mean, really won't like this one. Okay, he was minus movement already, but the large guard is never good to lose. He didn't apple it, but still. I didn't hand off and then screen, right? Because, I mean, you've still got to go for the double dodge for seven, I think. Might just roll like a five plus in the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, got it.
No, he didn't do it. Boo. Boo. But again, he'd done all of the other moves first. Look, he rolled the five as well. So if he'd, if he'd done the double dodge, he would have probably done it. And then he'd have struck the ball. And then he could have, uh, you know, brought hard nobody back to help <laughs> and still lost. <laughs> but I do think the double dodge from Sedek was the better player. Great inducement, he never fielded him. <laughs> he literally never fielded his inducement. Oh dear. That might have been a miscalculation. <laughs> Inducing a star player that you don't even feel. Who can say if it's a good use of inducement money or not? But probably, probably not. Nobody knows. Yeah, the count, the count was the one. Like, more power on the pitch. More power on the pitch. But um, you know, can't really. Game can't really hold it against him. Right? Really tough match. And I don't think the count would have been good. Like again, like how do you win? Like how do you win this game? It's so hard, right? It's actually so hard to, f to even think of a way you can win. Like you, you need you need an insanity dicing basically. So you, your step one is not just roll better than the other guy, but the other guy has to roll pretty horrendous or make like a brutal, a series of brutal misclicks and stuff like it's just so hard. But I mean, I guess the count, once you get the bonus strength five guy, that's pretty decent, isn't it? probably did need the count, honestly, because he's probably not worth his TV, but he, at least he's something, right? at least he's something. Strength 5, match 4. Hypno gears, block step. Like, he, he's a good player, isn't he? He is a good player. I don't think any team wouldn't want him on their team, <laughs> right? <laughs> like literally every single team on Chalice, if they could replace their worst player with the count, they would definitely replace their worst player with the count. And and what's more, they'd even put him on the pitch. Plenty wouldn't put Hack and Slash on the pitch, including this one. <laughs> hey, <laughs> banter. <laughs> And uh, I hate Blood Bowl 3, too. Like, I wanted to play Blood Bowl 3, but it's just... I wanted to like Blood Bowl 3, but I just don't. He could two-turn and then get a right or a blitz. So, you know, technically, that's what he should be doing, right? He shouldn't give up. He should be thinking, don't say it's over. But, um... Oh, wow, well, he's blocked off his move seven. So he's not even trying... Not even trying... To, uh... Draw. Gary on! <laughs> I was thinking this elf had guard block stand for that. <laughs> it doesn't. Alright. Oh, he is going for it. Good. Oh, wow. 
Wow, zombie nearly. <laughs> nearly gets it. He can blit and fully screen here. Can he? this is, uh, very easily defendable. He even makes it a 3D. So the saw has done something. He's been 3-diced. Tree diced and cast. Great impact. How are you regen though? Not the Not the most cost effective inducement you've ever seen in your life. But, you know, again, re really hard matchup. And maybe he was thinking, you know, like he's got lots, so many blotches and he's got such unskilled whites that he just, uh, you know, he receives the ball and he, he solves them and then fouls them, right? It's fair enough. Like, it's, it is actually fair enough because how on earth do you win? If you see that as a way you can win, then you take that concern. First, love it. So we'll pick up on the uh, white and hand off to the ghoul who blitzes through. Oh, this one can pick it up. So, okay, so we did get this with him. <laughs> and there you go. So yeah, at least he at least he tried. Like it was possible, like it was technically possible to uh, get a right of blitz and, and make it 2 2. So he did he did his best. But that is over. Say it's over. Glorious turn 16 spike foul. What else is that to do? Some people say this is unfair, but the thing is, you're either unfair to uh, augmented bid or you're unfair to the next round of points. Six and two threes. Might as well have a bit of fun for yourself. Pretty funny that all the sword did was get blocked and cast. 
<laughs> Literally hit once and counts. Well, there you go. Commiserations to Solmir, who got his 20 AV breaks. Uh, fulfilled the Dimmy coefficient, but unfortunately for him, Augmented Beard won by scoring two touchdowns. And, uh, yep, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>